I'm using an article from the AFP for this segment. All right, let's get right into this. A 5.0 magnitude earthquake shook Tokyo and large areas of eastern Japan on Sunday, the U.S. Geological Survey said, but there were no immediate reports of damage or casualties. The quake hit at 1.24 p.m., 0424 grams mean time, its epicenter, a relatively shallow depth of 40 kilometers in Ibaraki, northeast of the capital, the Japan Meteorological Agency said. No damage or injuries were immediately reported as buildings in Tokyo were shaken by the jolt. Shinkansen bullet train services were temporarily suspended in the region, while no abnormality was monitored at nuclear power facilities in Tokai, Ibaraki Prefecture, officials and local media said. Japan sits at the junction of four tectonic plates and experiences a number of relatively violent quakes every year, but rigid building codes and strict enforcement mean even powerful tremors frequently do little damage. A massive undersea quake that in March 2011 sent a tsunami barreling into Japan's northeast coast, killing more than 15,000 people and sending 30 active meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear plant. Now, the Japanese have much to be thankful for, which I agree with. This could have been a hell of a lot worse. That no one was hurt, that he was damaged, there were no immediate repercussions. It's a miracle. I've never experienced an earthquake, but I understand what could happen. I live in New York, and most people think we do not have earthquakes. Well, believe it or not, that is not true. We do get earthquakes from time to time. Granted, we don't get major ones on a regular scale like Japan or California, but we do get them. So see, you learned something.